Hello and welcome to ABAP Coding for Beginners with Tricks and Examples. Hi, I John Sia will try to help you becoming a professional ABAP developer. First things first, why are you here? Ask yourself this question. If you want to learn ABAP from an experienced professional, you are in the right place. If you are looking for something different with hands-on examples and tips that is hard to find on the internet, you are in the right place too. There is a great need for ABAP in the enterprise solutions and you are here to fill that role. While you are growing your skills as a developer, you need things other than just coding. You will be in a cycle of constant learning. SAP is a vast unknown ERP program for anyone who starts learning it. So know that you can find any material about SAP by searching internet. Learn to use keywords to get what you want from the countless articles you encounter. Search engines will be your best friends from now on. Also, SQL is very important for APA. You need to learn it at least basic level because it is all about using data in the world of SAP. When you start, take note of everything. Transactions, code blocks, and even reports. Don't forget, you can't remember everything, just write them down, either in a notebook or in your computer. Five years later, it will be an invaluable resource for your career. I personally use Microsoft OneNote, it's the perfect program for this job. Try to learn everything about your working environment, especially about Workbench and Debugger. SAP Screens has lots of tricky buttons in it. You will never know if you don't try to use them. Don't afraid pressing buttons, you won't break it. Don't try to write every code by yourself. If you need something, be sure that somebody else already needed that. Search for it, over internet or on the SAP itself, using search apps and various lists. Try finding standard functions for your need. Knowing how to get best of SAP is important because it has all the tools you need. Start building your own coding standards. It will help you trace your codes easily. Naming standards are also important both for your codes and objects you created. Follow the rules the business you are working for has given you or implement your own. Always write your comments while coding your reports or programs. While changing other programs, write your code in your comment blocks so it will be easier for you and others to track the changes. Do you know what else is also important? Testing. Try to take notes about what to test. Make your own unit tests and tell the module consultant that she needs to test the conditions which you couldn't if you have any in mind. To sum up, those are important skills for any developer out there. I hope I have given you some insights about becoming an ABAP developer with this simple introduction. I hope to see you in the next lecture.